This video is gonna look at how to add markup to your estimate, how to deal with tax-free items and what BuildExact does with those. We'll have a look at the sell price that BuildExact has and, and also how that price is arrived at. So I'm gonna go into my bricklaying category where I've been working so far. And first of all, I'm just gonna look at markup for these items. So in short, there's, there's three ways to add markup to, a, uh, to an item. First of all, you can add it at the item level. So I could say these bricks on their own get 20%, that's fine. You'll notice this price over here changing, we'll delve more into that in a tick. But I can say at the item level, 20%. I could also go up to the category level. So, and say this whole bricklaying category attracts 20%, also fine. At the very top level, I can use this markup box down the bottom. And a tip here, generally speaking, everything that's blue in Build Exact, like blue text, um, you should click on. Markup is no exception. But if you click on that, this is the overall markup for the whole estimate. And you can break this down as many ways as you want. So for example, we get people who go markup, 20%, maybe contingency, 2% overhead if they like, whatever you like. And the benefit of having this broken down if you want to do it is really just that you know um, what portions are what. So if you need to get a bit of wiggle room on the quote price, you can touch the markup, but generally speaking, contingency and overhead probably should be left as is. While we're at it, rounding can also be used for uh, within this box and rounding affects the total, the final price that our estimate will be getting. So I could say 100 and it will just put it up to the nearest 100. You can use this at your uh, discretion and really up to you what you wanna do there. All right, so I've got some markup on now. The next thing I wanna briefly touch on is just the tax um, and how to do tax-free items. So each and every item has a tax percent. You can see 10% for everything. Um, so I've got Australian GST, 10%. I can go into each of them and change it to GST free. So for bricks and brick labor, it's not gonna be GST free, but examples might be uh, if you're doing, uh, if you've got a council item uh, or something that does not attract GST, you can simply change it to zero. And all it's doing is for this total or for this line, it's not calculating any tax. So really easy to go between them. Uh, and a tip here, you've got to be in edit mode to make these changes. Lovely, the last point is just on this box here which we call the sell price or the customer price. So we're gonna go through what this is and what it's trying to tell you. The question we often get is this price here, the 5175 versus the $7,058, what is the difference? Why, do you, why are you showing me both? And in short, the 5175 is the cost to complete. So it's the cost just for these bricks with no markup, no tax. The seven grand, if I click on it, you can see is the estimated cost plus markup plus tax and gives me the total. So the reason we call it the sell price or the customer price is if the customer calls up and wants to know a price on something, you don't have to try and do the maths in your head. You've got these prices right here. And if you do go and um, when you're printing a quote, show individual prices, these will be the prices that show on that quote. There's one point in here that we'll just reference another video for, and that's redistributions. Uh, so we're gonna talk about that in a video uh, to do with selecting allowances and PC items. Uh, and that's where we'll talk about redistributions. And uh, that's basically the idea that markup can be moved between items. But for this one, uh, for this video, we're not gonna cover it here. Great, so that's an overview of markup, uh, adjusting tax and the sell price.